player swap, just two positions, has greatly changed the dynamic of the team. And I'm curious to see how it's going to affect them as we kick off the pistol. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a B hit. Showtime with that first frag on device. And they already have control of this B site. Yeah. Leaf will be stopped in his tracks by multiple smokes. And he's actually shot in the face on top of that. So this is looking pretty good for United. They finally bust down the door. Sunny is here. He's setting up for this retake now, and Relics will get his utility out as well. All right, good procedure so far from C9 to get closer to this site, but they're not finding any kills, and they're gonna need to do so. But on the flank, actually, this is showtime. He's made his way back to actually wrap around Cloud9, and this is such a huge thorn in their side. He's already found the first two kills of this round, and then he gets a third on the flank. That's just has struggled. But looks like they've got a really nice set play for us here, actually. Great utility coming out from them. They got all over the site, but they did take a casualty in the mix. It's a one for one, actually. And Showtime, he's all the way here at heaven right now. Oh, just spams through the smoke and gets Leaf right there. That's a kill that I don't think he was really supposed to get, but Sunny pushing out now, taking the initiative on his own, makes it a 3v3. Inside the cyber cage, Mitch tries One to strike. Remaining. Quick shots coming out, but a response from turn up. And now it's Joseph. 1v2. Can we see Sunny get on the scoreboard here? There you go. All right. Sunny goes for the wide swing. 200 ping or not, this man is fragging out here for Cloud9. And they're going to be contested, though, at the main right now. Got Leaf pushing on forward, looking for something. Actually, doesn't get anything at all. Two for two. This is a battle for B main control. And Sunny, he actually uses his ultimate, but there's no one there to capitalize. And Sunny, he's using the Marshall to great effect. He gets the one, but now things get difficult. That was probably the situation he needed to convert just a little bit more on. Because it's a 2v1, he has 38 HP, and... Oh, United, they're pushing into him. No way. No way. All right. Joseph does take him down. I thought Sonny had the lineup there. And really, one more bullet connecting could have... Turn up, sending that Al drone in for United. No, no. The drone's been taken down in the corner. That's the turret going out. Hunter's Fury being utilized here. There's the ult as well being popped. We talked about this before. The audio masking capability of Hunter's Fury to allow that player into that position and get past the enemy line. Here comes I the defender, Killjoy. So the fear is this ult is huge. You literally have to run. This is why Killjoy's ult is so insanely good on this map. All they have to do is defend. They're all going to get the oh. team. All three of them have been trapped inside the Killjoy. It's three kills coming in for Cloud9. It's master set up by Cloud9 as Vice delivers with a fatal blow despite being dead. Wow, that that was sweet. That was the ultimate that C9 needed to get in that setup towards A. But Relics here, when you wait too long, there will be this flank. Although he does have to shoot a trap wire. Ten seconds left. But they have the bomb site now. Spike's going down in just a second. And this is a three-on-three -three post plant out of really nowhere, other than just waiting. Yeah, that's a pretty open plant as well, so it gives them a lot of defensibility. Now that dark cover smoke fades over towards the door. Scourge is in a absolutely terrible spot, but if Scourge can get a kill, there's self-heal available as is Shadow's Dismiss. Coming. So there's opportunities for escape and preventative measures to keep him alive just a little while longer. He's got the line of sight currently held, but Relics reads that one like a book. Here comes the take, attempting to dive in. It's gonna be Vice as Killjoy coming out of A main as his supporting player, but going around that cyber cage is making things difficult here as Relics realizes the cyber cage has faded. 8-4 will be your halftime score, like you said. Uh, that's who it's been. I'm curious on the other side, who's calling the shots? It can't be Lee or Sunny, that eliminates them. I Maybe it's Relics? I, I don't think it would be Vice. Or, or maybe it is. I don't know. It's really tough to say. They did obviously recently bring in a new coach as well, and James IRL coming into the CF team. Maybe James is heavily involved. I, I really don't know to be certain. Here they try to make their way in. The tripwire gives away the position of Vice, who gets dropped with a nice little burst in the classic. Playing on the other side of the smoke, though, is Mitch, who's waiting. A United looked solid in the first half, but the pissed around is coming up all cloud nine, as now it's down to only two on the attempted retake, but it's... One of the best players, a player you'd want in that position in Scourge, who's now left alone. 
Yikes. Take a seat, Mitch, as a nice headshot comes out from the Ghost of Scourge. Now, the Flash being the leer from him allows him to get up a little bit further. I mean, he survives way longer than you might anticipate, given all of the fire that was coming in his direction. But Cloud9 pick up a must-win pistol to kick off this second half and really get themselves back into the game. No one talked to bring in a player you with Jordan Bank Korea. Cover and Leaf out. is playing. So, like, no charges. what preparation you could have done to prepare yourself for, e for Cloud9 might not necessarily apply. We'll see as they go for yet another Killjoy ult, left. but it's a fake. This is, again, another value of Killjoy on this map. So they use it to try to get into the, the A site, actually. So I love this move from Cloud9. They actually do detain the player over on B, but they exploit an over-rotation that comes out. Unfortunately, the spike gets dropped before the door goes down, so that's kills coming in here. Or the likes of B United, but this is a masterful pinch, and it puts all the pressure on Joseph, who had already found one through the door. This was just really well set up. So they go yeah. for the... And that thing is just going to blow through B main. And there's the beam. Take out the turret. There's one more who picked up the orb, and you know it. Easy one-two punch. Well set up by E United. Yeah, good stuff from them. Now, this is where things get difficult. These C9 mid rounds have looked good, but they've generally had man advantages or a lot of space. And we can see Joseph calls out the lurk on Leaf. It's just Sunny and Mitch that remain. And this is not getting any easier. Oh, Showtime spotted out. Sunny at this point. Enemy tries to go for the timing shot. This is looking like a flawless. Well, Sunny does respond with one. We'll see what he can get done with the operator here. Finally has some room to work with in a high pressure situation such as this, but actually, e United, they're all here at this point. This is going to be so hard for them. And there we go. Easy takes him down. 10 to 8. Might actually catch Showtime out. It is an opportunity for that. But the A hit will come out. Trap wires are going to slow them down a little bit. But full control of the site is now taken by C9. And Vice on that lurk. It does pay off for them. Felt like he had that angle, and he did on Showtime. Now it's a 5v4. This is going to be very difficult for United to get back into. They have the Empress, but will they even decide to use it is the question. Leaf just waiting right here for them to cascade out the top. It's going to be a waterfall retake as all players coming in from the same location, all coming from up top. Turn up the first one. Relics with an immediate response. Easy chiming in as well as the volley goes back and forth and brings us down to a two on two. Horns locked right now on the exchange, but it's going to be E United who, at least for the time being, retain control. Oh. And Easy comes in with a quick execution on device. And enough time left on the spike as well. About three seconds left. Yeah, there you go. 3.27 as E hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> they fought so hard to get to this point. We'll see if they can keep it moving again as we come into round 24. Good damage being dealt thus far to the Cloud9 members. You can see their kill choice pretty well on the The attempted push. Mitch, oh. the first one to find bloodshed on the site, but it's stacking up oh. in favor of E United. Everything falling apart in this final round. It's all up to Relics, who's 316 back and forth now. A quick shot left. coming out onto Joseph while checking both sides and a fake TP as well. I love that move. They might now second guess where he's coming from, but both players huddled up in Boathouse. Cover There's still another out. shrouded step. Dark cover as well is available. The door is going to get opened, actually. I have the spike's going to get picked up. Ten Relic's seconds left. Looking to find a kill here. Has to move in fast, and it's just looking like it's going to be oh. impossible. E the United, hang me. on to find... They are approaching. They are back to Hookah. And here we go. Smokes are out. Counter utilities left. there as well. Turn up may have an opportunity with that recon bolt, but doesn't find anything. Spike will be planted by Sunny. Spike and oh, planted. that's a great shock dart. Great damage there. But oh, there's actually some great info being attained by Joseph, who had a very sly camera there. And that's still actually available, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they took it down just yet. Leaf, though, getting the first kill of the round with a turret. Gets one of his own now. And... United, they're all over the site now. They are so close, up and personal, but Leave is doing it all. A 4k from him as he, they leave him on the site by his lonesome. It's down to a 1v2. Easy. On the site, trying to make this one work. Dark cover on top of the spike. The nice fault line coming out as well. Easy's just going to sit inside of him currently. Doesn't really have an option. Burst fire coming through, but Vice is there with the closeout on the round. A very close... Our crash in the air. 
future may hold for us. But Mitch is already all over the site with the Spectre. He's gotten up close and personal, and this is exactly how he wants to use this submachine gun. By the distance game away. Getting right in their faces. Right He's going to be joined by Sunny. I am already really liking this post plant setup for C9. Mitch just lurking in this spot, just chilling, hanging out, waiting for them to push through, hiding around the corner. There's that turret slowing them down potentially if they decide to peek. Just does a little bit of chip damage, but it does actually tag them and slow them down. Now that's the bread and butter of a killjoy right there. Nano Swarm does so much damage. But things are falling apart here. You mentioned how strong this host plant was, but Cloud9 is not really using it that well. Unfortunately, though, United didn't stick the spike. They now have to go for it. Does he have the time? No, the round's been lost. They're not going to get the spike defuse. That is a huge play from Relics and a wow. massive misplay. And again, you mentioned it. In, in order, the maps were supposed to get better for United, but thus far, it hasn't looked like it. Now, Scourge and Showtime both chime in with kills of their own. And they do give their team a player advantage. It's a four on three with the United up. 4v3 now. C9 decide they aren't favoring their chances towards the B site. Easy's already here in U-Haul. Does he have the paranoia? Could he actually bust that out right now? Oh, that's so well timed, but he's only able to get one. Mitch Wall nearsighted is actually able to find the return kill. It's a two on three situation. But Joseph is right here, hot on the heels of Mitch from that U-Haul position, and he will clean up. Sunny to fall, and E United pick up their second round. Overall, good defense coming out from E United on both the initial hold and the rotation. Short hit. They're out quick with Mitch dashing on forward. Oh, okay. They clear out U-Haul with that, and Relics actually finds the opening kill. There's so many smokes on the side. Relics is able to find another on easy. Now, Turnup is trying to desperately recover the situation. But the numbers advantage still lies with C9. 4v2 now. Spike planted. And Showtime's posted up on the angle. He knows that there was a player right over here. Turnup actually, with the shock dart, is able to get Relics Standing out of the position. Ahead. And they should know at this point, they may have a feeling that all of these players are to their right. They're not 100% certain. But another shock dart comes out, Ooh. and Showtime takes down Sunny. 2v2 now. And this is looking actually very doable for united will they read this flank from mitch though that's the big question showtime just going to go with the full stick though will he keep it down mitch is able to clean that up though and he gets the last as well that was looking a little hairy for c9 towards the end of the game as of yet but we'll see how things shape up now that the second half is set to begin paranoia coming into you all or lamps area if you will a response as well from the other Ooh. side, the knife comes out from Leaf, and he's looking, trying to find some damage as the pistol had run dry. I will say this, the knife animation in this game makes melee kills really difficult. Oh yeah, it's, uh, you ever see a knife round in this? It is so hard to watch, actually. 3v5 <laughs> though, retake, Revealing Mitch, area. taking down Turnup, with the wall bang there, and oh my god, Sunny jumping right into the fray. <laughs> Armed with the flash point, and he just gets taken down for that. But the defuse, oh, it was actually so close. Vice, though, he gets three on this. It's at halfway. If he's able to get this kill, he could actually finish this out. But Easy is right there and ready. He read that from Vice, thought he was is up by a round, so things are technically working out for them. We'll see if they continue to move in that fashion. There goes the dash in by Showtime, though, with the ult. The Hunter Fury pop. Oh, no, how do you miss that point blank range? You gotta connect on those. Vice from distance also able to chime in as well. Now Scourge is there with the pickup on the leaf. Revealing it. But this should have gone so much better. That first kill should have gone their direction with the jet knives. Instead, they're gonna have to take the TP and they don't realize that Sunny is still here. He's anchored, hunkered down on the B site, waiting in the garden for them to just try to make their way out. And this should be an easy first kill, and it is. It's now all down to Scourge, the all-star player from E United, looking for openings. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The door shuts as soon as he gets there with the rocket. It would have been brilliant play. But as soon as they pick it up, I guess it wasn't that close. I thought maybe they were one notch away, but maybe not. Hunter's Fury instead being sent out. Maybe that's the one they were going for. As it'll deal some damage to the players on site, but nothing is fatal, unfortunately, 
for the side of Eve United. All been reduced down to one. It's currently Showtime who's stuck in the corner in showers. A 1v3. The spike is in his possession, but good luck getting away from Finch, who's currently found a 4k. Developing here, and United are looking to do a bit of a... Smokes are out, Vice is up close in person, although Showstopper there to meet and greet him. Scourge finds one, but Relics is there for the trade. It is Pandemonium on the B site, but C9 is capitalizing off of the chaos. Defenders they will win 13 to 8 there. They know that there's no mid presence because Leaf has been holding that angle for the entire round. Now they're all over the site. Here we go. Showtime on the site right now. Flashpoint comes out actually, and it looks like E Knight's coming out on top. Three kills for them. Leaf from the heavens will find one in return. But E United, they have the spike planted. They are all over this. It's just down to Leaf and Mitch. They've been the stars thus far for C9. After the absence of tens and Leaf, he's gonna find his first fight. Oh, he spots the barrel. There's the lineup actually. Only gets showtime. It's just down to Mitch. And, oh, he's so far back actually. Unable to find the immediate trade, but he will push on forward. One enemy oh, remaining. He's gonna find easy. Oh, does he know this player's in the back right? Yes, I think he spotted him when he dashed. Will he be able to get the kill? He will. What a retake there by Mitch and company. Good stuff for C9 to get that one. An important round given how heavily. The push into the B site. It'll be Vice who's there ready to greet him. Vice actually manages to line up quite a few as they just form a, a line and it's just one, two, three. Easy kills for Vice. Relics will peek out off the back of a flashpoint coming in. Sunny. And the spam, not going to net anything. Needed. Scourge moving up in mid. There's not really anyone present. They have full oh, heaven okay. control if they want it, but Mitch is getting aggro over on A main to allow the orb pickup. So orb control currently for Cloud9 looking solid over on A. Whereas B, we've seen some, uh, some contest in B main for that orb control. But it has generally favored E United. Now what's going to be interesting is you've got easy moving in. There's the alarm bot giving away the position and the peak comes out. With the flashpoint, that couldn't have been better planned. Well set up from Cloud9 to utilize that flash. Unfortunately, they do lose relics in battle. Leaf is still back in mid. Nice tailwind to get away from the fight that was coming in that direction. Good damage coming out from Sunny. A little bit of teleport action after the body dies. As you can start to see the effect of that ping. But it's down to just one. It's showtime. What started as somewhat promising for E United has quickly fallen apart, and Cloud9 continues in their dominant fashion with left. four players live. Ooh. Enemy kill. Showtime taking down Leaf. Still has some time to work with. The flashpoint's there in his face, though, and they're hunting him down, but ooh, yo. C9, you might need to... Okay, all right. They, they got the situation <laughs> under control. Mitch is here. Smoke. The interesting thing with how that shaped up, and we'll talk about that in just a second here, it actually looks like it's already going to pick up with Showtime pushing up fast with the knives out. Bladestorm being utilized. There's so much smoke swirling. Relics is right Ooh. in front of them, though. Showtime had no idea, so Relics is able to get two free kills, and Mitch is now right around the corner with the op, and that smoke is the last remaining safety cover, the safety net for Showtime. It goes from the peak, and now it's just Mitch capping body after body. Great shots coming out from the op. And Cloud9 look unstoppable on the defense. Looking at it's how you should be playing that jet to find maximum consistency. Did Mitch put on his Wardell Top Academy t shirt today? Is that what's going on? I think that might be it. I mean, he is feeling it right now. Obviously, memes aside, Mitch is a solid player and he's really stepped up into this role and he's been filling <laughs> relics, finding three. Wants to get the fourth and he's got it. Relic says, I heard you guys talking about a couple different players that could choose to entry, but, but actually United, they have a, a few players that are pretty close right now. Dark cover comes out. There we go. Mitch with the entry goes through the cyber cage. Clear is there as well. But Mitch just continues as he's able to take down Scourge. And oh man, it's just clean work on, once they actually get onto this B site. And Mitch at this point, I feel like we might see something. A little disrespectful. I feel like he wants to push. I feel like he wants to get in their faces, but being the experienced professional that he is, he's uh, he's slowing down. 
one enemy that remaining. It didn't seem to stop him in that last round of the first half as he dove at them. Same with Relix going for the, the Odin. Kind of a little bit of cheese there at the end. To compliment the doo-doo sandwich that E United has been in practice with has stepped up at times. An incredible performance from Cloud9 here on this final map, though, as they've been championed by the man they call Mitch. As they try to defend here and close out the series, it's down to just two for E United. It's Breach and Reyna on the defense here. Cloud9 going for the spike plant in the four on two. All right. This is not looking good for United. They've got to find something with that. Relics is there to greet them. And of course, it's Mitch to finish things off.